Right now we take you to the operations and checkout building. We see the STS-130 commander, George Zamka, getting suited up. Finished up their weather briefing about five minutes ago and headed over to the final suit up. Endeavor's pilot, Terry Wirtz. <laughs> getting on their orange launch and entry suits. They're officially known as Advanced Crew Escape System, the ACES suit. Or as they affectionately refer to them as the uh, pumpkin suits, Bob Bankin will be the lead spacewalker for all three spacewalks on the STS 130 mission. A little more thumbs up, and then perhaps because hearing the forecast this time around, it's, uh, things are more A OK this time than they were last night. Mission Specialist Kay Heyer there, getting her helmet adjusted. Each suit technician from the flight crew equipment office assigned to each astronaut, one per astronaut. Nicholas Patrick there. Almost on a knee there in the... Uh, you know, all smiles. He'll be uh, also on all three spacewalks in this particular mission. First for him on spacewalks. And finally, Steve Robinson, the veteran space flyer of this particular crew, making his fourth flight. He'll be assisting the spacewalks from inside the uh, space station. So they pan around and look at uh, the suit up room, the operations and checkout building. And there are the six astronauts for Endeavour's STS-130 mission. Making their way down the hallway in the crew quarters, followed by Jerry Ross uh, in charge of their, uh, when they're down here at the Kennedy Space Center. He, Seven-time flown astronaut himself. About to say, say goodbye in the elevator, but uh, there we go. The several other people who'll be riding along with the astronauts on the way to the pad, including astronaut Chris Ferguson, the deputy chief of the astronaut office, who will be doing the weather reconnaissance flights. They'll drop him off. And here is Endeavour's STS-130 crew. of the astronaut office, Peggy Whitson, along with one of the members of the closeout crew in the white overalls. And that shot, you can see them, uh, there's obviously a lot of media who are there to watch walk out, as it's known. And an uh, awful lot of well-wishers, employees, friends, people who are obviously supporting the crews that want to make sure that the astronauts know that uh, they are behind them and I want to wish them well before they head out to the launch pad and start their 13-day flight to the International Space Station. And the departure of the Astrovan. And of course the security escort. 